Apex Legends is a game where if you train hard and sweat harder, you can run around the map collecting random gun parts and ammo for 45 minutes before you get third party by Diamond Smurf squads with TTV in their names and die in 3 seconds. <laughs> Helldivers is a little more fun, so let me show you how you can play as everyone's favorite Bretta. <laughs> this is going to be fun. Gibby is a big boy, so we're rocking heavy armor for this build. Hope you've been keeping up on your cardio. Guys, wait up. Guys. Come on, Gimli. We're gaining on them. <laughs> <laughs> but as tanky as our armor is, we're actually going to rock some pretty light weapons. I'm going for the classic R99 wingman combo with the Defender and the Senator. These guns are both great at medium to short range as long as you're good at hitting headshots, but you're a sweaty Apex legend, so that shouldn't be a problem, right? One tip with the Senator is to completely empty your mag when possible so you can get the quick reload. Both of these guns also work well with the Ballistic Shield, which is our stand-in for Gibby's Gun Shield passive. At release, the Ballistic Shield was kinda awful, but it's in a decent spot now and can protect you from an enormous amount of small arms fire. You can either march toward enemies so you can safely get consistent headshots, or put it on your back to make safe retreats. But we aren't going to stop the bullet storm there, because I've also really liked using the HMG with this build. It's sort of like having the Spitfire LMG. This also works great with our armor passive because it reduces recoil on this gun quite a lot which makes taking down mobile targets like gunships a whole lot easier. Apex has some cool grenades, but the only matching one in Helldivers seems to be the starter frag, which is honestly not bad. It has a good explosion radius, and it's easier to use on fabricators than the impact grenade. Arc star when though? Arrowhead? Witty please? Rounding out the last of our stratagems is the bubble shield and 120mm barrage, which are damn near perfect copies of Gibby's classic abilities. The bubble shield definitely could use a buff of some kind because it seems to go down pretty quick under heavy fire. Ooh, Ooh fuck. that bubble shield can tank exactly one turret shot confirmed, but it can be enough to cover a reload or protect a hellbomb long enough for you to arm it. Sewing some cover uh, for my hellbombs. On the other hand, the 120 is pretty dang good now since the last patch's buffs, giving it a lot more uptime and a tighter spread. It's fantastic at softening up bases and can wipe out objectives like detector towers, but I've also been tossing it at groups and factory striders. While this build does really well against bots, it's practically useless against the bugs and will get you laughed straight out of an operation if you bring it. Half of your loadout doesn't do anything against melee attackers, and being slow is such a liability where hunters exist, so just don't do it. Thanks for watching! Give this video a like because I said so! And be sure to check out our other build videos and let us know what build you're running so we can steal it for a future video. We're the Sticky Bandits, what did you expect?